headache? Who doesn't have a headache from high energy prices? One Arlington, Virginia family says relief may come from the sun. Here's CNN's Gene Missouri. Looks like the cornbread is about ready. Dan Redmond cooks lunch in his front yard using the power of the sun. Tasty? It's good. Yeah. A solar oven, just one way Redmond has drastically reduced his electric bill. It used to be about $150 a month. Our bill this past month was $28.61, about half of which was taxes and uh, the service charge. But this reduction came at a very high price. The solar panels he installed on his roof cost about $25,000. They generate about half the power his house consumes, but will take years to pay for themselves. Redmond tracks their productivity on a monitor inside. That's the sun working right then, instantaneously. Isn't that cool? When the sun is particularly bright and producing more electricity than the house needs, the electric meter actually runs backwards as the excess is pushed out to the power grid. We're essentially a power production company here on our street. The Redmonds have also whittled their bill by curtailing their use of electricity. Power gobbling appliances have been replaced with new Energy Star models. This year's investment, a more efficient air conditioning unit. The clothes dryer, which gobbled electricity year round, has been abandoned completely. And how much do you think it saves you? It easily knocked off 15 to 20 percent off of our electricity load. A small solar panel charges small electronics. Other appliances are turned off or unplugged when not in use. Right down in here. The family is also cutting gasoline consumption by using an electric bike. They hope soon to buy a plug-in electric car. This is about much more than lower energy bills. Redmond says his real goal is a smaller energy footprint. We don't live a frugal lifestyle. We're not on the edge where we feel like we're not getting all of our needs met. We're just making different decisions about how we live our life and what's important to us. It's 12.30 on the east coast, a very bright sunny day. Those solar panels up on the roof right now are pumping energy onto the power grid. 12.30 also means it's lunchtime. Dan, what's for lunch today in the right, solar Jim. oven? Uh, we are making blueberry bread as a snack. And it's almost done. It needs about another 30 minutes or so. How hot does it get in that oven? Um, it can get to 350, 350 degrees on a really warm day. And that's by yeah. focusing the sun's energy. It focuses the sun right features. inside of this box, and this glass keeps the the, uh, the heat from coming back out. It heats up the food. Isn't it a lot easier just to use the oven? I guess it could be. Um, what we have found is that we're able to get outside and able to play with the boys on a sunny day. Um, the, when we use the oven inside, it's big, and many of the things that we make are not big. They're just small pieces of food, so it uses a lot of energy for, for no reason. Um, also, it makes the house very hot, which means we then have to air condition it to cool it back down. Now, I know one of the goals here was to lower your energy bills, but you also want to conserve, consume less energy. But can one family taking these steps really make any difference in the big picture? I, I think it can in that um, in learning about the people that I've met uh, with, with solar energy is that there's a lot of us doing these little small steps. And I think when we add all these together, it will make a difference. Right. Dan so. Redmond, thanks so much. Jerry, back to you. Well, Gene, impressive family, and I've never even seen a solar oven, but can you tell me how much energy is this family saving? Well, a house this size, which has about three bedrooms, four people living inside, usually consumes about 12,000 kilowatt hours of energy every year. The Redmonds say that right now they're consuming about half of that. So a pretty significant uh, dent in their, uh, their energy consumption. Gerald. Well, Gene, I wouldn't sneeze at that. That's great performance. Thank you for that report.